All right, this is Fast Map. I'm a circuit bender. I've been doing circuit bending since 2004. And here we have a speak and spell. This is my latest design, which adds pitch control via control voltage externally, and also gate control of the tone features externally. And I'll demonstrate those here in just a second. So I wanted to just walk through all the features. This will be sort of an instructional video that I can share to all those who purchase these. So starting off, uh, just what we have here is the basic speak and spell. I just have it propped up on something here to, to lean it so that we can see it better. And I've added the controls. My typical design is a uh, power switch. So this completely cuts off the power from the batteries. So to start off, we'll turn this on and then press the on keypad button and you get your typical spelling games. So as you can see here, it works just like the factory intended until we start changing things. All right, so what I typically do next is turn on the glitch switch, which is this one right here. And once you activate this, it just starts speaking random nonsense, which is quite fun. And just a note on the output, you can either, either use the internal speaker or you can plug it into an external instrument amplifier like this one. And it's just a, a simple quarter inch output. When you plug this in, you get the output going to the amp instead of the speaker internally. And here I'm just using a small little amplifier here. Get this out of the way. All right, so he's still speaking nonsense, right? So now we activate loops. This is the loop switch. It has three positions. In the middle, it is off. When we flip it downward, we'll get a rhythmic loop. And then there is a release button that's opposite the switch. So this release button will release this rhythmic loop to the next random loop that it can grab. And you'll just keep getting a random loop that it got sold of every time you touch that. If you hold it in, it just continues on like it's speaking nonsense. But as soon as you release that, you grab that loop that is currently on. Okay, back to the loop switch off position. This is the freeze loop. In a freeze loop, it's a, not quite as rhythmic, and you can also release to grab the next one. But it's just sort of freezing on whatever sound was being made at that time. And that can also be interesting. Okay. Here we have a distortion button. And then here we have just a temporary cutoff of the audio entirely. So you can use this rhythmically as well, just sort of mute on demand. That's really all that is. Okay. Three tone buttons. We have the low tone, high tone, and sort of a screech sound. I've had these in my design since the beginning. Okay. So now at this point, let's go into control voltage. So let's go ahead and get the glitch going again. All right. Here I'm using a sequencer made by Synthrotech. This is the sequence eight. And what you're gonna see here is eight position sequences going on. You've got a rate switch to control how fast these are going. I will now send the control voltage output here, which will send it whatever voltage is indicated by these uh, eight position, uh, these eight knobs here. So, and again, you can use a synthesizer that has CV output, or any kind of controller that has CV output or any kind of sequencer. And we'll send the CV into 
this jack here. It's a little difficult to hear what's going on, but if you push a tone button, you can hear nothing's happening yet because we don't have that feature activated. So I need to explain this switch here, which is our pitch control. So in the off position, there's no pitch control. In the downward position, we have the internal knob controlling pitch. In the upward position, we're using control voltage, which is again, this input here, which is zero to five volts. So you can kind of hear that going on now. Press the tone button, you can really hear it. So what's happening is it's adjusting the, the pitch of the entire unit. Everything coming out of here has a, a, its own internal clock that is built into the speak and spell. And we're now varying the pitch through this external control, this control voltage. So you can use that then with all the loops, all the glitches, anything you want to do. And again, I'm just releasing to the next rhythmic loop in this case. Freeze loop. And there's just so much there that you can get at. It's completely random, completely chance. Okay, so now let's just kind of quiet it down here. So at this point, nothing's happening, but the pitch is still being changed by this external control voltage that we're sending it. The zero to five volts control voltage output coming from the Synthrotech sequencer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some tones. So right, how, right here I have the clock out cable, and I'm gonna send that to the low pitch. Sure, what just happened there? I think I have a bad cable. Let's just get that out of the way real quick. Let's try another cable. That's pretty fun. So this is just sending a clock pulse every time the sequence bumps. All right. Now we can use another cable that would be triggered on certain steps. We can send it to the low pitch or the kind of the medium pitch, I guess it were. Screech. Here I'm just adjusting the pitch on that one. So as you can hear, we're now controlling three different tones, which are these three buttons. We're actuating those with control voltage being sent from the sequencer is pretty much a gate signal. So as soon as that hits five volts, you're getting tone. When you got zero volts, you have no tone for those three inputs. And then you can tweak the rates, which is kind of fun. It's pretty responsive. Then you can use the tones along with anything else going on. Just a glitch going again. Freezes. There's a loop.
Again, if you don't want to use external pitch control, you can turn that off. Here there's no pitch control happening at all, it's just default factory. And then down position, you're using the knob to control pitch. We're still sending those tone triggers. It all works independently. And go back to external control. <clears throat> now I can just freeze this now. And then we can we can see that we're adjusting the pitch just with this knob. One feature too is with the pitch control, you can see that there are blue LEDs underneath this display. And at the lowest pitch, the left side is the brightest. And as we go higher, we can see the left side dims and then the right side LED brightens. And this is the same concept that's actually controlling internally the pitch of the speaking spell. So it's just kind of a cool feature. Let's release our hold. And that is pretty much the feature set of the circuit bent speaking spell. Again, my name is Fastmap. This is the very first prototype that I've made with this approach. I'm going to be selling these online pretty soon. And again, thank you for your interest. Let me know if I can answer any questions in the comments. Thank you.